Safety's off, clear to fire. Safety's off, clear to fire. It's on. It's on. Done, cheated. Hey, welcome to Downey Live. I'm Michael Downey and today I'm in Fernie Alpine Resort and I'll be riding with the ski patrol here as they get set up for opening day. So let's go behind the scenes and see how they get ready for their ski season. All right, so first thing in the morning, ski patrol checks in with each other. They do their little chat and catch up what areas of the mountain need to be tended to, what they you know, need to improve on, etc. Then they all bring gear up to the top on the chairlifts. Some guys head up to the tower to launch the avalancher, make sure there are no avalanches that will fall down on the mountainside hurting any public. So have you seen an avalancher before? Never. Okay. Oh, avalancher. It's That's an it. avalancher is what it's called. Yeah. Wait, man. Ever heard that boom when you're standing in line as they're doing avalanche clearing? That's this. And Paul is the guy who gets to have all the fun. This is a, uh, an older device that we've been using here probably for 30 odd years. It's a Mark II 8A Avalancher. Propellant is nitrogen, which is an inert gas. We use a snow launcher uh, round with a tail fin assembly that will um, basically detonate on impact when it hits. Today, we're gonna get some clearances for the cat crew and our operators out here, and then we're gonna fire away at the Cedar Face Gully, just try to clean the rocks off so we can get out there and work under that train later today. And that is the five hole. Okay, hey, those valves are closed. Yeah, I'll go downstairs and pressure up. Pressure up. Okay, barrel's clear. Okay, barrel's clear. Barrel seated. It is off. Clear to test. Clear to test. Action. Safety's on. He's on. Unseated. Okay, take two more. That one wasn't as clean as I wanted. Yeah. <coughs> Safety's off. Clear to test. Clear to test. Yeah. Okay, here's our pressures and targets, sir, Michael. Gives us a uh, target name, uh, an incline for the gun, a pressure, uh, size, and kind of... So you, can, so you can hit your target every time. Yeah, we shoot in the dark in the morning. We shoot in poor visibility. Uh, you know, all this data has sort of been here for, like I said, 30, 40 years. I like how it even tells you the feedback will be yeah. quiet. You know, obviously exactly. if it's far or behind a rock ridge or something. How so, far can these things shoot? Like, what's the far of this target you uh, would... What do you think we, we get these out? Like, 800 meters, Carson? At least, yeah. You, I'd know. Say, you know what? I'd say we could hit one good k. Yeah, oh. close to 1,000 meters. Yeah, our accuracy, of course, diminishes as we get that far away. Of but. course. We're going to be in a little closer today. Um, shooting what we call the Cedar Face Gully, Cedar Face Rock. It's sort of where the... Uh, where our cat roads and our public are gonna sort of be as close to the train or under that train. Trying to get a little bit of feedback, see what's happening with the storm snow. Man, it just looks in your hand. It's, it's about, it's bigger than your hand. Yeah, so that's a one kilogram um, CL Orion snow launcher, booster basically. And we're gonna fit it with a high strength cap and a tail fin assembly. And when the three pieces are together, it has a arming system that'll, um, Arm itself as it comes out the barrel about 50 feet and hopefully on impact a striker will go forward and initiate an explosion and a small avalanche. And they're filled with a product called Pentalite which is like basically a mix of products and then hot pour it into these plastic things in the cardboard too. So obviously before firing this thing there's a lot of inspections that take place. They also have to get a lot of clearances, make sure there is no one in the area, no cats, no ski patrol, no public. Then this wall behind is steel plate filled with sand. It's quite thick, so we have to be completely behind that. But lucky for you, I can put the camera on the edge filming the mountain that we're firing at, so hopefully we can see something. Okay, Tyler, we are... Cap is in. Cap's in. Shots together. Shots together. From my Half load. Half load. Going away. Full load. We're just going to go. Seated. 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 We're going to go to working pressure of 180 psi here. Safety's off. Clear to fire. 
He's off. Clear to fire. Gone. Gone. Unseated. did hit a rock, you could see a little snow cast yeah. in here, there you go. And we hit a road, sweet. Wow, look at it, all the way down. <laughs> Mostly powder cloud there, but... That was a quicker one. Like yeah, it was it a little closer, didn't fly as long, yeah. and hit a rock, and you know, was the concussion effect kind of got us the result we wanted there. Oh, you want to throw a size on those two decent ones? One fives, maybe? Big one fives, I'd say. Depends on the volume, you know, they definitely had a lot of show. What does a one five mean? Uh, uh, sort of magnitude of size there, depending on run length, um, destructive potential, mass, et cetera, et cetera. Like 30 sort of tons of mass, somewhere in there. 30 to 40 tons, maybe even. On your way to 100 tons at that point. I mean, in terms of run length there, we're well over 100 meters. Mm -hmm. Well, that's one off the bucket list, but more importantly, it's something I've always wondered about how they do it, and now we know. Well, I'm back at the hotel now getting ready for a hot tub, but don't go anywhere because I will be here at Fernie Alpine Resort going behind the scenes all weekend, so make sure to subscribe because I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. So until next time, see ya.